Okay, so hi to everyone, this is Phil Darker and welcome back to Hegemonia. So I've got some good news and bad news. The bad news is that I decided to go to continue with the Steam version because um, as far as I could see that crack was not doing anything good for that game, especially AI was was very interesting. Plus the crashes still happened. So I decided to start using the Steam version, which at least has several things fixed, but you will encounter some bugs, especially texture or graphical bugs. Luckily I managed to um, get back to the position in one day. <laughs> I was really fast, yes. Um, basically I think it's gonna be this. Oh, okay, that was interesting. So, we are here. Let's press uh, pause. So let's take a look at the... Let's take a look at these bugs. So first of all... If you took, take a look at Nila Cortez's nickname or name... It's not there anymore. Plus, look at this. Yeah, this seems to be an issue with the lightning itself. Basically all lightning uh, in a game is messed up. Almost everything. Yeah, uh... Colonel, HQ has decided to send another prototype ship with the same professional agent on board. He will check in shortly. Since even the best spies need fuel and supplies. <laughs> so, he is to serve under your command until further instructions. Any questions? None, sir. Good. I'd say it was time to smoke out this rat hole, Colonel. Also, we have an issue with the sun here. Yeah, it's this. Look at that. So at some point of the uh, of the uh, camera angle, the sun is disappearing. It's pro these are all probably texture issues. Also, if you take a look at the Corvettes, you can see their lightning. Look at that. You see those? Okay, you probably can't see them yet, but I can still see them. But these are all lightning issues in the game. I think these are not that hard fixes. Probably. Your orders. Okay, you are gonna see it here. Look at that. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> see those dots? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely an issue. Yeah, with the lightning here. But I think. I have direct orders from headquarters. You will receive them instantly too. Hmm. Let me see. Yes. Yes, I see, Captain. So you have to infiltrate this Karyak base, and I have to delay the attack to your back, right? Exactly, Colonel. Sorry to upset your plans, but we have to know as much as possible about these species, the Karyaks. Perhaps I might trouble you with a simple yet important question. Just how do you plan to infiltrate their base? We don't even know what they look like. Don't worry, Colonel. The spies are very useful, not only for exploration purposes, but also for demolishing enemy defenses and ships and stealing inventions. But how can you infiltrate their bases? Your ship seems pretty weak. Indeed, Colonel. Our strength is our ability to hide and move quickly. A professional spy can be extremely useful, but we can't operate one-on-one -on -one even with a regular Corvette. I put some files about spying in a USSF database. Read them if you want. This mission won't be easy, though. That's why I was sent here, and not some wet behind the years officer. Thank you, Captain. We'll wait for you further on. But if anything goes wrong, just send us an alpha priority message on the emergency channel. Thank you, Colonel. I hope it won't be necessary, but I appreciate your consideration. Okay, so I showed you another bug. So this is basically what the 1.09 patch introduced. There's a couple, there are a couple of other things like the name of the ships, so some enemy ships. They just don't uh, appear. But yeah, with the uh, yeah, as if you don't, if you remember, I well, probably don't. I tried playing with the cracked 1.7 version, and the car and the I didn't even send this interpreter merchant. So the AI was messed up in that version. 
as it seems. But the original 1.7 version was the most stable, I would say. It really sucks, but yeah, this is gonna be an issue actually. You can see that the space between the texts got really large. I have to find a way. Uh, this is a known bug with the research as well. Anyway, I'm going to continue to finish this game. Uh, I'm actually happy that I managed to get this work somehow. We don't have at least the sun crashes anymore. This game needs a remastering, by the way, indefinitely. Okay, so how are we gonna... So, um, basically, in the previous uh, mission, you remember that I already had planet technologies. Now, I decided to go for the advanced ship equipment, because um, why not? I already got absorption, absorption shield, yes. Uh, anti planetary drive, faster speed, and more shield. Yeah, uh, gonna, gonna deal with all of these later. And I deployed this base here called Endurance. Well, okay, these are just our bugs. Uh, nothing. I would rather want the AI to work more than the uh, textures or graphics. But even that one is messed up, as you can see. Look at that. Oh, even that star. Yeah, look at that. Your ships are under attack. Okay. Doesn't really matter. But you can see the AI will be a bit different. It's, it's gonna be much better. So this is the 1.7 AI, basically. Yeah, definitely the 1.7 AI. It's not moving anywhere. Target live. Got him. Not the 1.7 cracked AI, because the 1.07 AI is actually pretty good. And this one got him. This one was. is reminiscent to that. Okay, actually, I'm a big noob because I'm supposed to send merchants. So, interpret and merchants. Let's send them. I already have issues here. So what do we... Uh, yeah, this is gonna be... Oh, that's why I got the... Um, yes. Things. So we didn't talk about the interplanet and merchants. Normally the AI does... <coughs> Sorry. So normally the AI does not... Doesn't attack them. He won't be destroyed, don't worry, even though he's being constantly shot by... ...things, yes. It's actually a really a pretty... ...pretty hard strike force, hopefully I will make it. So yeah, I'm gonna continue with this. I know there are some bugs here and textures, but the AI hopefully is still gonna be okay. Yeah, this is the latest version of the game, so... Your orders? Colonel, the situation is critical. Shields are down, engine at 56%, power supply at 43%, and life support at 41%. My only chance is the war... The local defenses in Gamma will take care of my pursuers. Take out those remaining and don't let them escape. Everybody listen up. Prepare to attack. Your ships are under attack. Well, Colonel, Look at the that. operation was nearly fatal. We hope the information Captain Koshera obtained is worth all this bloodshed. You may now continue your mission. 
Let's see how the AI is gonna work now. Well, you can see there is no movement at all now. Zero movement, basically. Ah. Okay, let's speed this up. We will dispatch them because they are weak. That small movement that the AI is doing, that's normal. I remember that. Okay, we destroyed everything. Okay. Cloning. Uh, what do I need? Quark energy. That one is really good. The music is pretty good of this game. Okay, what I need from here is... Uh, I think I, I'm gonna get it. Carrier cut up colonization. So that we can finally start colonizing some other planets. Yeah, you can see. We can colonize almost everything. Oh, okay. let's. Uh, yeah, I need this. Your ships are under attack. I'm gonna start getting some heroes as well. No funds for ship maintenance. So the one with having no name is Nila Cortelliari. Uh, we can easily dispatch these units. Although we shouldn't even deal with them because we have a base. Okay, what else do I want to get? Okay, terraforming is actually good, but... Uh, what do I want to get? Let's get cloning. Mm, yeah, I'm thinking this is a building type of thing. Yeah, let's get cloning. Yeah, now our maximum popula population. Oh, that's actually a bit too many, though. E. Yeah, the, like that. yeah, the air is gonna be tough. Okay, let's get some Potom We have to deal with those units. Okay. What else shall I get? We can't get anything else, so we're gonna get this. Uh, let's try if we don't. I'm gonna increase on the morale so we can get the units faster. I would like to end this mission really fast. Your ships are under attack. This cardiac. We can actually play with this civilization. I, I like to play uh, with this civilization multiplayer. That was cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now First is I'm gonna save well, Let's call this level 6. Yeah, let's save it here And now what I'm gonna do is 
I'm gonna stop the recording here, so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one.